All right, here we go, you too. Oh my goodness, this is April the 1st. And I'm here to tell you, it's almost 10 o'clock, April the 1st. It's about 37 degrees, and this ain't no April Fool's Day. I am not fooling y'all today. Woo! Yay! All right. Y'all ready? Yeah. Here we go. <laughs> Alright, 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 <laughs> yeah, I'm not fooling, man. It is definitely cold out this bad boy here. Yeah. You like slapping? What in the world are you doing out there on your gold wing? And it's cold like that. Well, I am on my way to go see Lewis at Electric Connections. He has informed me that he has done his magic tricks on the F6B. He has sprinkled his pixie dust all over it. And I'm going to pick it up. So, when I pick it up, I'm dropping my 2012 Goldwing off. It needs a, uh, relay my left heated grip wire I guess is what you call that it has been severed I guess or broken or whatever and it's making my heated grips and my heated seat not function I don't use them much but there is a fun a feature that is a part of this motorcycle and that was uh, one of the, you know, things that I bought this bike for is the feature. So I wanted to work. Didn't know what was going on with the seat or the, the hand grips. And, you know, because Lewis knows all about that, these gold wings. And I guess Harley's for that matter. But definitely the electrical part of things. So he was like, well, I'll just go ahead and order you a, a left side hand grip. Uh, and, uh, fix that while you're down here doing that. I'm like, oh, that's what it is? He said, yeah, once, I guess once you break that contact, or once the, uh, the, the, was it the daisy train or whatever the loop, if one thing has been broken, it, it affects something else. That's what I gathered. I'm not quite sure if I'm correct by saying that, but that's what I've gathered, gathered by the conversation that we had. I'm in this construction zone. Leaving the, the Merville area, and I mean, they ain't playing with this construction. They police and state troopers everywhere up this bad boy. So, we ain't trying to upset nobody and make them leave their position and give old Slappy Dog a good talking to. One reason why I end up giving up that daggum concourse, that, that daggum thing, uh, act like it didn't want to go slow. It, it, it's happy place was above 85, 90 mile an hour. It just seemed like it was just happy there. And uh, sometimes I just want to relax. But on April Fool's Day, 37 degrees, I got my battery powered gloves. I can't even pronounce what they're saying. What is that? Wild day, wild day. Wild. Well, anyway, uh, I'll put the picture up on the, in the, right, I'll put the picture right here. But anyway, um, got the battery juice going to it, man. I was, goodness to gracious, I was like, Lord, that mercy. I got to go pick this bike up and it's cold. But, um, yesterday he said it was ready and it was raining and cold and it was cutting the food with the rain. I definitely didn't want food with no bike and no rain like that. So, I'm going to shoot up here and grab it. Drop this off, pick it up, 
And then I'm going to turn around and carry my ass back home and go to bed. I got to work tonight. Got to go get that money. I got some old magic tricks in the garage that I'm going to be doing to the uh, F6B. I guess pretty much to try to get it to where I want it to be uh, right now. There's just certain things I want the bike to be and do and be able to do when it's time to do it or if I needed to do it. So that's going to be my uh, second plan B bike if I got a road trip planned and if I want to take it, if I want to take this. This Gold Wayne my 2012 is my chariot of choice when it's time to hit the super slab and go grab those adventures. I call it the go getter. I like to set them goals and jump on this bad boy and go get her. <laughs> but that's gonna be my commuter bike, definitely a plan B bike. So I got a uh, trailer hitch in the garage waiting to get put on that F6B. I'm pretty sure Lewis put the wiring harness on it uh, up here, so it's going to be wired and and uh, able to pull the trailer at any given time, you know. And that's my, this is me headed to go see Lewis in this cold, it's a pretty day, it's a pretty April Fool's Day. But I'm here today gonna tell you it's good and cold. I would hate to look at my ankles or my hands right now. I give old K Smooth hell all the time. Talking about his hands, sometimes he look like he been busting cinder blocks with them hands and ankles. But I tell you, my my hands probably look like concrete the damn cell. And I'll be back at with you. I'll be back with you guys when we start getting up on Rifle Range Road. This is on that Don't go nowhere. Wait a minute. <laughs> All right. We are coming up on Rifle Range Road. You can you can see it in front of me. Let's go see what kind of pixie dust Lewis has sprinkled on me. Like I said, it's April the 1st, April Fool's Day, but I guess I'm the fool because it is like 37 degrees out here. It's a pretty sunny day, but man, it's got all kind of bite, jack, frost, whatever you want to call it, in the air. I had to put on my gear, dadgummit. I guess it's probably about maybe 12, 15, I don't reckon it's more than that, 15 miles from my house to uh, electric connection. I have to find that for sure, but I don't give a dog if it was five miles from the house. If it's cold enough, dog, it'd be the worst five miles you can do. If your dad gonna toenails and your fingernails get cold. Woo, anybody see me? Anybody know where I'm at? Here I am, y'all. Here I am. Switching bad boys out. Hey, stay tuned for more videos like this. Thanks for watching. I'm ready.